Physical geodesy is the study of the physical properties of the gravity field of the Earth, the geopotential, with a view to their application in geodesy. Topic: Measurement procedure. Traditional geodetic instruments such as theodolites rely on the gravity field for orienting their vertical axis along the local plumb line or local vertical direction with the aid of a spirit level. After that, vertical angles, zenith angles or, alternatively, elevation angles are obtained with respect to this local vertical, and horizontal angles in the plane of the local horizon, perpendicular to the vertical. Leveling instruments again are used to obtain geopotential differences between points on the Earth's surface. These can then be expressed as height differences by conversion to metric units. Topic: The geopotential. The Earth's gravity field can be described by a potential as follows: G equals W equals G R a D W equals W X I plus W Y J plus W Z K Display style math BF G equals Nabla W equals Mathem Grad W equals FRAC partial W partial X Math BF I plus FRAC partial W partial Y Math BF J plus FRAC partial W partial Z Math BF K which expresses the gravity acceleration vector as the gradient of W display style W the potential of gravity the vector triad I J K display style math BF I math BF J math BF K is the orthonormal set of base vectors in space pointing along the X Y Z display style x y z coordinate axes note that both gravity and its potential contain a contribution from the centrifugal pseudo force due to the earth's rotation we can write w equals v plus phi Display style W equals V plus Phi where V Display style V is the potential of the gravitational field W Display style W that of the gravity field and Phi Display style Phi that of the centrifugal force field the centrifugal force per unit of mass ie acceleration is given by g c equals omega 2 p display style math bf g underscore c equals omega caret 2 math bf p where p equals x i plus y j plus 0 k display style math bf p equals x math bf i plus y math bf j plus o c d o t math bf k 
is the vector pointing to the point considered straight from the Earth's rotational axis. It can be shown that this pseudo-force field, in a reference frame co-rotating with the Earth, has a potential associated with it that looks like this. Phi equals 1 2 omega 2 x 2 plus y 2 display style phi equals frac 1 2 omega caret 2 x caret 2 plus y caret 2 this can be verified by taking the gradient display style nabla operator of this expression here x display style x y display style y and z display style z are geocentric coordinates topic units Gravity is commonly measured in units of ms-2 meters per second squared. This also can be expressed multiplying by the gravitational constant g in order to change units as newtons per kilogram of attracted mass. Potential is expressed as gravity times distance, m2s-2. Traveling 1 meter in the direction of a gravity vector of strength 1 meter s minus 2 will increase your potential by 1 square meter s minus 2. Again employing g as a multiplier, the units can be changed to joules per kilogram of attracted mass. A more convenient unit is the GPU, or geopotential unit, it equals 10 square meters s minus 2. This means that traveling 1 meter in the vertical direction, i.e., the direction of the 9.8 meters s minus 2 ambient gravity, will approximately change your potential by 1 GPU. Which again means that the difference in geopotential, in GPU, of a point with that of sea level can be used as a rough measure of height above sea level in meters. Topic. The normal potential To a rough approximation, the Earth is a sphere, or to a much better approximation, an ellipsoid. We can similarly approximate the gravity field of the Earth by a spherically symmetric field W approximately equals G M R Display style W approximately FRAC GM R of which the equipotential surfaces the surfaces of constant potential value are concentric spheres. It is more accurate to approximate the geopotential by a field that has the Earth reference ellipsoid as one of its equipotential surfaces, however. The most recent Earth reference ellipsoid is GRS-80, or Geodetic Reference System 1980, which the Global Positioning System uses as its reference. Its geometric parameters are, semi-major axis a topic. 6,378,137.0 meters, and flattening f. 1 A geopotential field U display style U is constructed being the sum of a gravitational potential psi display style psi and the known centrifugal potential phi display style phi that has the grs80 reference ellipsoid as one of its equipotential surfaces 
If we also require that the enclosed mass is equal to the known mass of the Earth including atmosphere gm equals 3,986,005 times 108 cubic meters s minus 2, we obtain for the potential at the reference ellipsoid u 0 equals 62,636,860.850 m 2 s minus 2 display style u underscore 0 equals 62,636,860.850 text rm m caret 2 text rm s caret minus 2 obviously this value depends on the assumption that the potential goes asymptotically to zero at infinity r infinity Display style r right arrow in a t, as is common in physics. For practical purposes, it makes more sense to choose the zero point of normal gravity to be that of the reference ellipsoid, and refer the potentials of other points to this. Topic: <laughs> Disturbing potential and geoid. Once a clean, smooth geopotential field U display style U has been constructed matching the known GRS80 reference ellipsoid with an equipotential surface. We call such a field a normal potential. We can subtract it from the true measured potential W display style W of the real Earth. The result is defined as T, the disturbing potential T equals W minus U. Display style T equals W U. The disturbing potential T is numerically a great deal smaller than U or W, and captures the detailed, complex variations of the true gravity field of the actually existing Earth from point to point, as distinguished from the overall global trend captured by the smooth mathematical ellipsoid of the normal potential. Due to the irregularity of the Earth's true gravity field, the equilibrium figure of sea water, or the geoid, will also be of irregular form. In some places, like west of Ireland, the geoid mathematical mean sea level sticks out as much as 100 metres above the regular, rotationally symmetric reference ellipsoid of GRS 80. In other places, like close to Ceylon, it dives under the ellipsoid by nearly the same amount. The separation between these two surfaces is called the undulation of the geoid, symbol n and is closely related to the disturbing potential. According to the famous Bruns formula, we have n equals t gamma display style n equals t gamma, where gamma display style gamma is the force of gravity computed from the normal field potential u display style u. In 1849, the mathematician George Gabriel Stokes published the following formula named after him N equals R four Pi Gamma zero Sigma Delta G S Psi D Sigma display style n equals frac r four pi gamma underscore zero i i n t underscore sigma delta g s psi d sigma. In this formula, delta g 
display style delta g stands for gravity anomalies differences between true and normal reference gravity and s as the stokes function a kernel function derived by stokes in closed analytical form note that determining n display style n anywhere on earth by this formula requires delta g display style delta g to be known everywhere on earth including oceans polar areas and deserts for terrestrial gravimetric measurements this is a near impossibility in spite of close international cooperation within the International Association of Geodesy IAG EG through the International Gravity Bureau BGI Bureau Gravimetrique International Another approach is to combine multiple information sources, not just terrestrial gravimetry, but also satellite geodetic data on the figure of the Earth, from analysis of satellite orbital perturbations, and lately from satellite gravity missions such as GOCE and GRACE. In such combination solutions, the low-resolution part of the geoid solution is provided by the satellite data, while a tuned version of the above Stokes equation is used to calculate the high-resolution part, from terrestrial gravimetric data from a neighborhood of the evaluation point only. The geoid, or mathematical mean sea surface, is defined not only on the seas, but also under land, it is the equilibrium water surface that would result, would sea water be allowed to move freely e through tunnels under the land. Technically, an equipotential surface of the true geopotential, chosen to coincide on average with mean sea level. As mean sea level is physically realized by tide gauge benchmarks on the coasts of different countries and continents, a number of slightly incompatible near geoids will result, with differences of several decimeters to over one meter between them, due to the dynamic sea surface topography. These are referred to as vertical or height datums. For every point on Earth, the local direction of gravity or vertical direction, materialized with the plumb line, is perpendicular to the geoid. On this is based a method, astrogeodetic leveling, for deriving the local figure of the geoid by measuring deflections of the vertical by astronomical means over an area. Topic. Gravity anomalies Above we already made use of gravity anomalies delta g display style delta g these are computed as the differences between true observed gravity g equals g Display style g equals vec g and calculated normal gravity gamma equals gamma equals u display style gamma equals vec gamma equals nabla u. This is an oversimplification. In practice, the location in space at which gamma is evaluated will differ slightly from that where g has been measured. We thus get delta g equals g minus gamma. Display style delta g equals g gamma. These anomalies are called free air anomalies, and are the ones to be used in the above Stokes equation. In geophysics, these anomalies are often further reduced by removing from them the attraction of the topography, which for a flat, horizontal plate, plate of thickness h is given by a b equals 2 pi G Rho H Display style a underscore B equals two Pi G Rho H 
the Bouguer reduction to be applied as follows Delta G B equals Delta G F A minus A B Display style delta G underscore B equals delta G underscore F A a underscore B so called Booger anomalies. Here Delta G F A Display style delta G underscore F A is our earlier Delta G Display style delta G, the free air anomaly. In case the terrain is not a flat plate, the usual case we use for H the local terrain height value, but apply a further correction called the terrain correction (TC). Topic. See also. LAGEOS Friedrich Robert Helmert Geophysics Gravity of Earth Gravimetry Satellite Geodesy <laughs> <laughs>